and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. storm's coming. Let's find some of that sock weed and get back to the palace. Maybe we should split up. <laughs> Good idea. You three look for the weed and I'll go back to the palace. That's my hero. Cringer and I will go this way. Duncan, why don't you try over there? Orko, you go that way. What am I looking for? It's a bright orange weed that grows on trees. If it's there, you can't miss it. We'll meet back here in 15 minutes. I don't like this. Sorry, Cringer, but I need the weed for one of my experiments. Relax, Cringer. There's nothing to worry about. minutes and still no Orko. I don't like it. <laughs> Neither do I. Well, at least the storm's passed. Something's coming. Orko? Who are you? Wait, come back. Will he be all right? Yes. Looks like he just got the wind knocked out of him. <sighs> That's good news. Come on, old buddy, wake up. Uh, where, where am I? What happened? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the monster! Adam, quick, be, 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 got him in! There's a giant monster in there! There, there, Orko. Everything's all right now. There's no monster. Now, tell us what happened. Oh, I found some saltweed, and then this big ugly monster attacked me. He must have hit me. Oh, quick, we gotta get out of here. Orko. Are you certain he attacked you? Yeah, I mean, well, I, well, I could have run into a tree, I suppose. Hey, wait a minute. How did I get back here? Well, this monster, as you call him, brought you back along with your pouch. Hmm, let's look inside. This so-called monster must be pretty bright. He knew what you were looking for, Orko. None of this adds up. I want to know who that giant is and how he knew that we were looking for Salkweed. No. C -c -c Couldn't we ju just leave well enough alone? He must be a spy for Skeletor. Or he could be someone in trouble. we better go after him. G do we have to? Yes, as He-Man. Oh, no. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Go. 
For days I've been tracking the giant. I almost had him until that blasted storm jammed my equipment. But I'll get him. My sideshow will be the greatest ever seen. You, you mindless brute. They'll pay to cringe at your ugliness. And they'll pay to see your four arms. Too bad you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> and you, they'll line up for miles to see the thing with two heads. Ha! Two heads and no brains. My sensors have picked up something. The giant! I found him! It's no good, He-Man. I'm afraid we've lost him. Yes. I'm certain he went this way. I can smell his scent. He has passed this way. Look! Let's hurry. What on Eternia? I don't like the looks of that. Uh-oh. That muscle man would make a prize attraction in my sideshow, but he requires a special trap. But there is one I could capture right now. That strange little elf. Be careful you don't get caught, he man. Help! Help! Okay. Join your friends, Muscle Man. Don't worry, you'll be seeing them soon enough. In the meantime, perhaps you'd like to play with one of my pets. But I should warn you, Scorpio likes to play rough. Have fun! <laughs> if that Muscle Man really can tackle Scorpio, he'll be the prize of my collection. Man at arms. take all my strength to stop that thing, but I don't want to hurt it. Well, do something. Look out! Well, well, well. And how are my two newest prizes? Just rotten, thanks. And how about you, giant? What's the matter? Can't you speak? Typical. Big but dumb. No matter. As long as you can manage a few grunts, you'll keep my paying customers happy. And now, I must leave you. My sensors picked up a winged man nearby, so we'll pay him a visit now. And when are you gonna let us out of here? Oh, I'm not. You and your friend are now a permanent part of my traveling sideshow. <laughs> Well, 
this is just great. I start out the day looking for salt wheat and I wind up as part of a circus slideshow. Can't you say anything? Well, I'm gonna try to get us out of here. Don't. Huh? Those bars are electrified. Y you, you spoke. Well, it sure took you long enough. Longer than you know. This is the first time I've said a word in many years. I don't get it. Why not? Because I was ridiculed for my great size. Because I was hated for my fearsome appearance. Because I was an outcast from the world of men. Because people are cruel. Even you feared me at first. I know, and I'm sorry. Years ago, I fled the cities to live as a hermit in the evergreen forest with my friends. Friends? The wild creatures of nature. They do not ridicule me. In all that time, I've spoken to no one. Until now. Well, I'm sure glad you did. My name's Orko. What's yours? It's Cambro, little friend. Well, now we've got to get out of here somehow. I could bend the bars, but they aren't safe to touch. That looks like the control panel over there. If there was some way to shut it off... Hey, well, I've got a few magic tricks up my sleeve. Thunder, lightning, clatter, and hail make my body thin as a rail. <laughs> Now what? He said something about going after a winged man. He must be going to Avion to capture my friend Stratos, the bird man. If only we could contact He-Man the man at arms somehow. This is an intercom for talking with other places in the ship. But it could be turned into a long-range radio to contact your friends. Oh, great! But who can do that? I can. Huh? But I need a seal remover. One seal remover coming up. Uh, and uh, well, maybe we're lollipop too. No, huh? Well... This is going to take some time. I only hope that He-Man's doing all right against that awful monster. <laughs> I think we lost that scorpion creature. Wrong again. If I can't stop that thing soon, one of us is going to get hurt. E-Man, what about that river? Well, if I could divert it, it might solve our problem. any more trouble. Now, what about Orko and... Orko calling man-at-arms! Orko calling man-at-arms! Orko, are you all right? No! The guy who caught us is running some kind of circus show, and now he's after Stratos. We're on our way. We've got to get to Avion. Run back and take the Wind Raider. I'll go on foot with Battle Cat. To Avion, Cat! <laughs> Stratos. I don't know, but I'd better take a look. This is better than I'd hoped for. Batman, you're mine! Stratos! Demon! 
I'll free you, Stratos. Thanks, He-Man. But what's going on? I'll explain later. Right now, just carry me up to that ship. I'm aboard, my friend. Stratos, look! They must be coming to rescue me! Birdman! No! Go back! So, not only did that muscle-bound hero defeat Scorpio, he takes away my Birdman! I'll catch so many of those bird brains that even he can save them all. And I'll catch him as well. <laughs> Got you! <laughs> I may have lost the bird man, but I've got the muscle man. Those bands are solid titanium. Even he can't escape from them. Imprisoning all these creatures just for one sideshow. How can one man be so cruel? Perhaps if his pets were free, he'd see things differently. My creatures! What have I done? No! You're quite a brave fellow as long as these creatures are in cages. But now what are you going to do? No! Put them back! They're all dumb beasts! Keep them away from me! Help me please, muscle man! You don't hurt! You misunderstand me. Do not harm him, my friends. Do not spoil your freedom with hate. You have your freedom. It is enough. They all understand you. How? For years I have lived as a hermit among their kind in the wild. I understand them, and they understand me. Uh, it's a long story, He-Man. And so you had the knowledge to turn the ship's intercom into a long-range device to contact us, Cambro. Yes. As a youth, I excelled at science. I graduated from the Science Academy by the time I was 16. But by the time I was 20, my great size and frightening appearance created fear and hatred in all those who saw me. It is unfortunate that there are still people in the world who judge a person by the way he looks. Well, I've been looking for a new lab assistant. Orko, could you uh, recommend one? Him! Him! Well, Cambro, what do you say? In all my life, I have never experienced such kindness as I have received from you three. Thank you all. You've been away from humanity for a long time, Cambro. There are still many of us who judge a person by his appearance. But we're learning not to. Perhaps from the example of your intelligence and courage, more will learn. 
something about judging other people by the way they look. Just because Cambro looked different, I was frightened of him, and I thought he was some kind of monster. But he's trying not to be kind and gentle and smart. I hope you'll try to remember not to judge people by the way they look, and not to make fun of them if they look different. People deserve to be judged on their words, and especially on their actions. From now on, I'm going to give them a chance. I hope you will, too. Bye! And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Stone, right, hand up to the left, okay. Oh, turn the page, no, uh, hmm, crystal, oh, you see, oh, uh, 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 oh, look at all the press right here. Oh, look at you, no, no, oh, maybe this is a thing. Oh, turn the, let's see, oh, let's see, uh, hmm, try to remember, okay, it's magic time. <laughs> Through the power of stone by the mystical glass, let the magic within now into me pass. It's working! It's working! Dorco. I don't know. I was working on an experiment to increase my magic power when the whole thing went kablooey. Not that I'm counting, but that's the third kablooey this month. Magic is tricky stuff. <laughs> hey, tricky stuff. Pretty funny, huh? I guess not. Well, I better start cleaning up. I'm showing the king a new trick tonight. Well, then I better move fast. Why? Well, if Orko's going to do a trick, somebody's got to warn the king. Hmm. <laughs> you sure you're all right? Fine and dandy. See you later. What a mess. <laughs> your Majesties, friends, for your amusement, I proudly present the ancient and mystic globes of Ramastama. Muggle, muggle, mice, mystic globes now arise! <laughs> 
Orko, perhaps you should try again. Hmm. Must have used too much heap and not enough oomph. Miggle, maggle, muggle, mice, Mr. Globes, now arise! Uh, really wonderful, Orko. You think we could see it again? My magic! It won't work! It's... it's... it's gone! Orko! I, I... I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. Oh, I better have a talk with Orko. I'll come, too. <laughs> Orko, what is it? My magic is gone. It's vanished. Not a sap left, and without it, I'm no good to anyone. That's not true, Orko. We love you for yourself and not for your magic. Ah, but without magic, how can I make the king laugh or conjure up nice presents for the queen? You don't have to amuse people or give them gifts to be loved. You're a special person, Orko. Oh, oh, very special. Yeah, <clears throat> too special sometimes. And even without tricks, there's magic in your heart. And it's that magic that makes us your friends. Well, thank you. Thank you all. But I need my magic and it's gone. <laughs> well, Orko, what we have to do is find out whether you can get your magic back and well, I know someone who can help us. See you later, Tila. And then the Gronk jumped between me and the crystal, and the next thing I remember is the explosion. That's the answer. The Gronk soaked up your magic power, and then was drawn into the crystal. But the crystal was destroyed. I doubt that the Gronk was destroyed, too. More likely, it was sent to one of the other worlds the crystal touched. Then there's a chance? A slim one. I can open a gate to the right world, but it won't last long. If we can get that animal, that Gronk, back, can you restore Arco's magic power? Certainly. Yeah! I'm saved! Not so fast, Orko. It's risky. If the gate should close, you'll be trapped in the other dimension forever. We'll have to take that chance. We? We? Oh, that, 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 that doesn't mm, mm, mean me, does it? But just to be on the safe side... By the power of Grayskull! Oh, he means me. Ready to travel, Cat? <sighs> Let's go! I'm going too. No, Orko, you stay. Without your magic... I know I won't be very useful, but you're doing this for me, and the least I can do is help. All right. Sorceress, open the gate. Remember, you must act fast. Here we are. Yeah, but, but where is here? Wow, it looks magical. I wonder what the people are like. Demons. I told you more of them would come. Excuse me, but one of the demons speaks. Quick, make it go away! Hold on, Cat. Maybe they can help us. Why would we want to help you? You're demons. demons. We're not demons. We're visitors from another world. We're looking for a Gronk. We think it came here. Now where did they go? What is a frog? A small animal about this big. With fur and spines down its back? He-Man, they've seen it. 
Please tell me where it is. All my magic is inside it. Hey, you should be more careful with your magic. This thing you call a gronk has ruined everything on Omiros. So, this place is called Omiros. Yes, and I am Tick. And I'm Tark. What did you mean when you said the gronk ruined everything? And if it's not too much trouble, could just one of you answer? I sometimes speak for both of us, and sometimes I do, but it's not normal. normal. Please. Well, when this animal of yours arrived, it was captured by Zolt, an evil wizard. He's using the strange power to control our world. He's using my magic. Where is this Zolt? In Castle Ackle. What's the quickest way there? That way. Maybe you could take us there. Take you to Castle Ackle? Never. Never. But we can help you. We'll take the clock back to our own world where it won't cause any trouble. <laughs> oh, very well. Get in. We'll have to come back here. That gate is the only way back to our world. Don't worry, the bubble will bring you back. That must be Castle Ackle. This place is awfully creepy. I don't see any... <laughs> you better step aside, big fella. We don't want any trouble. <laughs> You're already in trouble, Pip Squeak. My clock! You broke my favorite clock! It's not polite to poke people. Ready to give up? I'll get you this time, Shorty. <laughs> huh. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> has some sort of electronic magical protection on it. We'll have to find a way around it. Maybe my sword can cut it open. That wouldn't be very polite. My name is Zolt. Show yourself. If you insist. Be man behind us. Tattletail. <laughs> We're trapped! No good straining, muscle man. Nothing can escape my magic cones. And I am the greatest wizard in all the universe. Yeah, thanks to my magic. And I want it back. So, it's your magic stored inside this creature. It's been very useful to me. Thank you. What do you want from us, Zolt? More magic, of course. Orko, I hope he doesn't want my sword. Ah, the sword. Let's just take a look at that. 
<laughs> How does it work? Hold it up and I'll show you. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> he got the power. And I've got to get that grump! Gotcha! <laughs> hey, just cut it out! Time for us to go. You tricked me! I'll show you! My magic robots will stop you! Sorry about your toys, Zolt, but they don't play nicely. And neither do you. Let's get moving. You'll never get out of Castle Ackle. Never! Hey, man, the gate's closed. <sighs> Got to lift it. <laughs> Come on. Look, they're back, but so is Dolph. The gate's beginning to break up. We don't have much time. You won't escape. It can't be. Did you see where Zolt went? Captured Zolt! Oh, we're oh, heroes! Come on! Dave, get back here! Orko, no, there's no time! I won't lose my magic again! Orko, come on! Oh, oh no. That's it! We're trapped in this wacky place for good! I'm sorry, really I am. If I hadn't been so selfish and wanting my magic back, we could have escaped! All right, Orko. We'll try to find some other way back to Eternia. Perhaps we can help. We studied your gate, and we might be able to recreate it. We'd really... Appreciate it. Presto! Jato! Rearrange! No good, too skinny. Memble, memble, reassemble. They're getting closer. Maybe you should try using the power in the Gronk. It's worth a try. Zegel, Zorm, please reform. You did it! You did it! Thanks for your help. Our pleasure. <laughs> well, looks like the sorceress had no trouble giving Orko his magic back. If you ask me, the trouble is just starting. And what do the Mystic Globes bring? Well, let's see. For the King of Rings. Thank you, Orko. For the queen, the tiara with a radiant sheen.
made for man at arms. Leave me what? out of this, Orko. Now, now, man at arms, you don't want to ruin Orko's big finish, do you? But, sire. Have a little faith, Duncan. Orko, I think man at arms could use a new hat. Coming right up, sire. And for man at arms, think of that a brand new, useful, handsome. Water? Uh oh. That was supposed to be a hat. <laughs> Orko? Well, at least Orko's magic is back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> I was really unhappy when I lost my magic. I was afraid that people wouldn't like me anymore because I couldn't make them laugh or give them magic presents. And then Adam told me something. You don't have to amuse people or give them gifts to be loved. You're a special person, Orko. And you know what? You're special. And you don't have to buy presents or be a clown to make people like you. That way you'll know that the friends you make are real friends. That they like you for yourself. And the Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Man. My new electric force shield works perfectly. It should really be a help in protecting Tila's guards. Speaking of Tila, aren't you and she supposed to pay a visit to the lowland villages this afternoon? That's right. I'd better become Prince Adam again. I was talking with your mother today and about that planet she came from, Earth. Mm hmm You know, the Queen really is a remarkable woman. Did you know that she was one of the first Earth women ever to fly to outer space? Of course. But did you know that for a long time before that, only Earth men were allowed to be astronauts? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to believe that at one time they thought men were better than women. I'd call it illogical. It is obvious that men and women are equals. Machines, on the other hand, are quite superior. Why, attack track? <laughs> That's mutiny! Forgive my joke, Tila. After all, where would we machines be without humans? And where would men and women be without each other? Adam? Adam? <laughs> Adam? Men better than women. Ha! Now that's a joke. Track, what's happening? Something is blocking our path. Oh! It must be some kind of invisible force barrier. Out here in the middle of nowhere? I wonder how long it goes on. Only one way to find out. You go this way, and I'll go that. Halt! 
for me. I don't see anyone else here. Why are you snooping around our city's fortifications? Uh, city? What city? Answer! Look, I mean no harm. I'm Prince Adam of Eternia, and I was just... Enough! Men! Catching them is so easy! It's hardly even a spot! Captain of the Guard of Eternia. And I say you are a spy! I'm no spy. I'll be the judge of that! <laughs> what? There! Treat an unarmed stranger. Well, haven't you anything to say for yourselves? I've... I've never seen such skill. I invite you to return with us to Arcadia to meet our queen. Now, that's more like it. But tell me, why have I never heard of your city? As you have seen, our force, Doom, is impossible to pass through. Patrol 8956 requesting admittance through the Force Dome. Clear for admittance. Opening Force Dome. We'll be able to see Arcadia soon. It's just over the next ridge. Why? I've never seen anything so beautiful. Wait until you meet our Queen, Sumana. That should be very nice. And will I also meet your king? King? We have no king. Why should we? Why? <laughs> well, a queen should have, uh, someone. Uh, a man? Ruling with Queen Samara? <laughs> a man? No man is worthy of such an honor. Men are, 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 oh, never mind. We're almost there. Arcadia. I am grateful, Your Highness, but if only for a glimpse of your beautiful city. Tell me about yourself. My name is Tila, and uh, in my country, I am captain of the King's Guards. The King's Guards? Yes, and he's a very good king. Hmm. Let us discuss the matter while I escort you on a tour of our city. Your city's incredible, but the way you treat visitors leaves something to be desired. So, you like Arcadia, eh? Well, it's the last you'll ever see of it. Now get in there! Ah, <sighs> oh, you'd think they could afford an elevator. What shall we do with his sword? Take it to the Mistress of Arms! Perhaps she can melt it down and make something useful out of it. Get on your feet. Why, you're no Arcadian. Who are you? I'm Prince Adam of Eternia. A prince, eh? Well, you're a slave now, so you'd better get used to it. Prince or no prince? Come on. Behold, Arcadia. A place of perfect harmony. Perfect peace. It seems unbelievable. I mean, how do you do it? Our great force dome protects us against all intruders. But it must take an enormous amount of fuel to power a force field that big. Where do you get it? From a mineral called Arcolite. We have it in plentiful quantities. Must be hard work. Who does all the mining? Who? Why, men, of course. They're good for physical labor, but we women are far better suited to rule. Women are better than men. In this way, we avoid all conflict and strife in our city. A perfect utopia. No conflict, no problems, and no love either. Here, take 
take it. What is it? It's a digger. Look, what's this all about? Who are you? My name is Ananda. I'm in charge down here. This is where we mine Archelite, the mineral that fuels Arcadia's four stone. And we're behind schedule, so get to work. No man or woman should have to work as a slave. No woman does. These are the slave pits, and no man or prince will ever get out. Is that clear? No men are allowed in the city. It's just not right. As an outsider, this all may seem very strange, but you must understand. I understand that your isolation from the outside world has made you cold-blooded and inhumane. Your Majesty. Yes, Ananda, what is it? The men are complaining again, especially that new one who is called Adam. Adam? Where is he? With the others, as he should be. What is wrong? He says we're overmining, that the tunnels are not safe. Really? And what does he know? He's probably just looking for an excuse to slack off. However, I leave it in your capable hands. I get the feeling some men are better off than others around here. I knew it, this place is falling apart. Ananda, I've got to speak to you. What is it now? These mines are worse than I thought. You haven't seen the half of it. Come with me. Those shoring girders could go any time. This place has been mined to death. What's above this mine? The whole city's up there. Well, then if that ceiling caves in... The city will be destroyed. I fear for the queen. I've tried to warn her dozens of times, but she won't listen to me, even, even though... Even though what? Well, I think she likes me, but of course, she'd never admit such a thing. But she might listen to you. Me? Why me? Well, if you really are a prince... Well, it's worth a try. Let's go. There's no telling when these mines might cave in. I only wish I had my sword. <laughs> Time to melt down some of this junk. No, Tila. Now that you know our secrets, I cannot allow you to take them to the outside world. Seize her! That opening leads to the ventilation shafts below the street. Ananda, do you have any idea where the women might have taken my sword? There's a metal shortage. They probably took it to the foundry to be melted down. Then there isn't a moment to lose. I wonder where they keep all the men hidden. So Mana said something about mining. No place to go but down. Hurry! She couldn't have gone far! give for a decent road map of this place. Tila! Adam! Oh, am I glad to see you! I'm worried! Holding these two could cause a war between our country and Eternia! And how could Eternia's armies wage war on us? They could never penetrate our Force Dome. You aren't going to have your Force Dome much longer, Samana. 
What are you doing here? No men are allowed! You've mined all the Archolites you can. The whole city's in danger of collapsing. Adam, run! No, haven't you heard me? Perhaps some of the mines are in need of repair, but... But you're a man. You don't know what you're talking about. Take him away. No! Let him go! Why don't you understand? You're all in great danger. You must stop the mining. But we can't. Without Archolite, we'd have no four stone. Our city would be defenseless. If you don't change your thinking about men, you may have no city. What was that? That's what Adam was telling you. But it, it can't be that bad. Open your eyes, Sumana. The men know what they're talking about. Arcadia is collapsing. But what can we do? Let me loose and we'll work something out. All of us, women and men. to strengthen the supports beneath the city. Impossible, Tila. The women won't stand for it. Sumana, what choice do they have? What choice do you have? I'll... I'll give the order. Ananda said they might take my sword to the foundry. But that's the foundry. You know something? I think I like working with men. What? Put that sword down! Man-at-arms force shield is sure gonna come in handy now. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> A plan. I have a plan. He-Man! Clear everyone out of here. I think I can still save the city. Can he do it? Just one man? He's no ordinary man. Let's get the others out of here. If this shaft just leads down deep enough... An underground lava flow. should do it. That lava will soon fill these tunnels. Get out of here! It worked! When that crumbling...
crumbling rock hit the lava, it all turned into a solid mass to support the city. So, men of Arcadia, thanks to Tila and He-Man, I think all of our eyes were open today. Today, women and men work together to help save our city. With our supply of Arcolite cut off, our Force Dome can no longer protect us. We need each other more than ever. Henceforth, we will live together in harmony. Not as women and men, but as Arcadians. In keeping with this, I decree that Ananda, the noblest and wisest of our men, shall rule by my side as king. Will you, Ananda? Well, it's about time. Well, I think that's our cue to leave. Imagine those Arcadian men not being treated as equals. That is so dumb. Why does one group have to be better than another? Men and women are exactly the same. And machines are superior. You're just jealous, Track. Anyway, there is a little difference between men and women. Don't you think so, Adam? Well, I... a little, yeah. So? So! Hooray for that little bit of difference! Hey, you two, knock it off! <laughs> Orko, what are you doing here? Trying to sleep. Orko, you've been asleep in the back seat all this time? Yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything exciting. A very long time ago, a wonderful document came into being. It was called the Magna Carta. It was the first big step in recognizing that all people were created equal. But even though more laws have been passed to guarantee that, there are still those who try to keep others from being free. Fortunately, Queen Samana realized in time that only by working together could her city be saved. And that's the way it should be, together. Right? Right. <laughs>